welcome back to Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some more Am I the A-hole posts? And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five days a week, every single week, non-stop, can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. Are y'all ready? I'm sorry. I need a nap. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first story. Okay, this says, Am I the A-hole for telling my cousin that she ruined a family heirloom? Well, Reddit already says they're not the a-hole, but let's see what we have to think. I, female 26, have two cousins, uh, female 33 and female 28. My oldest cousin, Jane, is married. My other cousin, Amy, just got married. I am single. Right before she got engaged last summer, our grandma gave, our grandma gave Amy's fiance, John, a diamond ring to propose with. This ring is a gorgeous white gold and diamond ring that our grandpa gave her. He died when our dads were teens. My grandma has since remarried and always said that she'd pass on the ring. I won't lie, I've always loved that ring and hoped it would be me, but I'm also the youngest cousin, so I tried to temper my expectations. Mostly, I was happy for Amy and glad the ring was staying in the family, and Jane agreed. Fast forward to this weekend, which was Amy's wedding. Neither Jane nor I were in the wedding, but we both went to the hotel room where Amy was getting ready. She asked if we wanted to see the rings we were both confused but said sure and what she showed us was a gargantuan tacky engagement ring and wedding band set i sputtered something like but i thought you were getting married with grandma's ring amy just smiled and said yeah it is grandma's ring she explained that for her wedding gift she asked john to upgrade the ring into this monstrosity since he didn't have to pay for an engagement ring in the first place one of the diamonds was grandma's and then the white gold melted down to make one of her wedding bands but the rest was all new stuff i burst into tears i was so shocked and hurt i told her she destroyed our grandparents heirloom if she wanted a giant diamond to wear every day that's her choice but the ring was important to our family amy got huffy and said she just had to finish getting ready so jane and i left jane was also upset but had the attitude of it's amy's ring nothing we can do now i told her i didn't think grandma would have given it to john and amy if she knew she was going to take it apart i found grandma and after she and asked her if she knew what amy had done amy's mom had told her that amy had to have it resized and have the setting fixed but grandma had no idea that it made it into an entirely different new ring she didn't say anything but i could tell she was upset the wedding went on but everyone could tell that there was some awkwardness between me and amy and jane and grandma is refusing to talk about the matter amy is saying i owe her an apology but i don't think i'm in the wrong for saying she destroyed a family heirloom plus the fact that she didn't tell anyone what she was doing and misled grandma says to me she knew she was do she knew she was wrong or at least it wouldn't have been condoned i feel like she saw it not as an heirloom but a way to subsidize what she really wanted i know the mature thing to do is get o is just to get over it and accept that it was given to amy and she made her choice but i'm finding it really hard to get over what she did am i the a-hole for feeling the way i do uh you know what i'm gonna have to go ahead and agree with reddit no i don't think you're the a-hole i think uh amy is a bit of a bratty weirdo like hello if if that ring wasn't your style why don't you just say you know what i love it but maybe my cousin or my sister would love or who are my cousins whatever maybe they would like it more than me because this isn't quite my style which is fine not everyone is you know this is your grandma's ring obviously it's probably going to have like a more antique feel to it and i could understand not liking that type of ring don't take it apart like your grandpa gave that to your grandma and he's been dead for so long and i think he said since their dads were teens so they never met this grandpa and she's just gonna desecrate his ring that he left for, for that's awful that's mean man and you can't get that stuff back you, you can't you can't go back she melted down the gold it's only like she just added to the setting or whatever she uh, I'm getting worked up. I'm getting upset and it's not even my grandma or my ring. <laughs> I don't know what you all think about that one in the comments and let's get on to the next story. Okay, this says, am I the a-hole for lying to my girlfriend about having a child? Reddit also says these people are not the a-hole, but let's see what we think. My brother passed away five years ago. He has a daughter who was nine at the time. Let's call her Nora. My other Nor my other Nora. My other brother became Nora's legal guardian, but she ended up living with me most of the time and we got closer. She is like a daughter to me, and even though I'm not her legal guardian, everyone in our family has accepted me as her dad. I started dating my girlfriend about a year ago and told her that I have a daughter. I didn't go into details that she is not mine. I just wanted her to know that Nora and I are a package deal. I introduced her to Nora about four months ago 
Mexico and they do not get along. Nora is not an easy kid to get along with and my girlfriend lacks patience. A few days ago, she found out that Nora is actually not mine and freaked out. She called me an a-hole for lying to her and forcing her to tolerate and spend time with that annoying kid who isn't even mine. I told her that Nora is mine and kicked her out of my home for insulting my child in my home. I have been getting texts from friends who all think I'm an a-hole. That is all there is to that story and I am flabbergasted, gobsmacked, perplexed, upset. I cannot believe you would talk about a child that way. So she was nine at the time. So that means she's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 now. And she's mad. You didn't tell me this wasn't actually your kid. You're telling me that I didn't have to put up with her all this time. You're just being an a-hole to me. Ma'am, ma'am. If he says it's his kid, it's his kid. It doesn't have to be biologic and it doesn't have to have an adoption paper signed. Like this is family. It's his kid. Oh my gosh, I'm irritated. <sighs> I want to know what you think about that one in the comments and let's get on to the next story before I lose my mind. Okay, this says, am I the evil for pretending I can't cook and not allowing my daughter to attend Easter? Reddit says everyone sucks, so let's see what we think. I, 30 female, am married to my husband, Mike, 32. Mike usually does all the cooking and it works for us. Sometimes I cook as well, but it's very few and far between. Mike's family likes to have potlucks where the women all bring different dishes. I am a good cook, but I don't enjoy it, so we've always just said I can't cook. We've been married three years and this hasn't been an issue. Mike and I have a daughter who's five. She mentioned to my sister-in-law how mommy makes the best seafood casserole while trying my sister-in-law's. My sister-in-law mentioned something about the comment to my husband and he explained how I just don't enjoy cooking so I don't do it often and don't want to cook for family parties. My sister-in-law told my mother-in-law and all the women in Mike's family have been texting me that I'm selfish for letting them do all the work at family parties. So I said I don't enjoy cooking and will not be cooking for a family party. We all went back and forth a few times so I said the next family party, Easter this weekend, my daughter and I will not be attending then. My mother-in-law said I'm an a-hole for not allowing my daughter to attend saying it's manipulative and that I should just make the dish and suck it up like everyone else my husband said he's staying out of it right now but that he understands my my position he said maybe just make a dish one time to have peace on easter and i refuse so am i the a-hole for pretending i couldn't cook all these years and for not allowing my daughter to attend easter okay i have some questions but there's edit so let's see one my daughter will still spend easter with my family just not my husband's two he can't take her alone because he's on call for work that weekend three we did try buying store-bought once and it was never served on purpose okay that that was my question four mike doesn't cook for these events because it's time consuming making a dish large enough and he works a lot making a meal for our family doesn't take nearly as much time since there's only two adults and a small child update Okay, let's give our opinions now. So I sort of understand because I am a person who can cook and you know, I have a couple real good recipes up my sleeve that I can pull out and, and impress people with, but I don't enjoy it. It's not a fun thing for me to do. I just do it because I have to. So I kind of understand that if you didn't have to, you might not want to, but I mean, they were right in saying it's not fair that everyone else has to bust their butts. However, my solution was, okay, I'll buy like a side of uh, prepackaged salad from the grocery store. Is that good enough for my contribution? And according to the, the in-laws, that wasn't good enough. So now I'm like, okay, not the a-hole because she's tried and they're just being unreasonable. Let's see what the update says. Mike and I have talked about this weekend. He reached out to his mom and let her know we will not be attending if I have to cook anything. I don't know what happened during their conversation that made him so upset, but his mom has since retracted her statement and said, it's fine, they just want to see their grandchild. Mike let them know that since this was the hill they wanted to die on, that he will also not be attending Easter and that we will not be attending as a family unless the women in his family apologize for attacking me. We will be spending a full day Easter with my family, which my daughter is happy to spend the day with her 
cousins. Mike said he will not, we will not be attending another of his family's parties unless I'm 100% comfortable. And if any comments or remarks are made, we'll be leaving and not returning. Okay, you know what? A husband sticking up for their wife, I am here for it. Usually when the spouse is arguing with the in-laws, the 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 husband often will just kind of step back and be like oh i'm not getting in the middle of this like that's my mom and my wife no no no. you do need to get in the middle of it because it is your wife and your mother and you are the bridge between them so you need to bridge the communication between them as well i don't think this original poster is the a-hole personally i think she's tried to make accommodations by you know getting store-bought food instead and if that's still not good enough for you well then like too bad like i'll bring dessert i'll bring like a platter of cookies from the kroger like if that's not good enough for you then i don't know what to tell you I don't know what to tell you. I want to know what you think about that one in the comments. Don't forget, we have a playlist of over 100 MI the whole videos up here that you can binge. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!